Hey everyone, the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 awakened the renewed interest in an old favorite. Having played FS 2004, I thought I'd dust off the old CDs and joystick to see what this game still has to offer in 2020. It didn't take me long to find Mr. Howard Smith's The Natural World 2019. Imagine that, a free environment add-on for a scene released in 2003. I've chosen the Vinfish Vision scene to take us across the United States. It commemorates the first transcontinental flight in America. A default Piper J3 cup alone, as I found out, has two other iterations and one add-on. There could be more out there. We start here at John F. Kennedy International Airport, and we're supposed to reach Los Angeles International, LAX, at the end of it. The mission begins at 4.30 p.m., and we fly until we need to land. There's one more seat available, so hop in. We'll get there when we get there, as the mission says. Carl Braith, Perry Rogers flew, landed when needed, and flew again. According to Wikipedia, there were a total of 75 stops, including 16 crashes and Rogers suffering from injuries. His flight began in September 17, 1911. He landed in Pasadena, California on November 5, took off again on November 12, and finally landed December 10 on the beach and taxied the flyer into the Pacific Ocean. The whole journey took 4,000 statute miles or 6,400 kilometers, but the actual flying time was only 84 hours. Incidentally, he was not able to get the $50,000 prize offered by the publisher William Randall first, as he missed the deadline by 19 days. He had a support team that rebuilt the Winfish Flyer when needed and only a few pieces of the original plane was unreplaced when he reached the Pacific. The airport we just left, as I said before, was KJFK. After an add-on, it now looks different. In his creepy file, the author, William Morgan, states that, quote, it contains the new American Airlines terminal and roadways through the center of the airport, a brand new, more accurate version of Terminal 4 and American's Terminal 8, and quote. Now it's time to head west. I'm 
must disclose that I have already added some utilities to my FS2004 installation. They will help a lot in making this video. These are FC Peak by Pete Dawson and FS Recorder by Mafias Music. Also added this active camera to help create different points of view. There's Manhattan, it would be a great idea to fly around it, but we'll do that some other time. Two great scenery add-ons, New York Objects by Tatu Kantuma and New York Beaches by Thomas Perry would make it worth a while. Here, I am unable to resist. The Lady Liberty herself! I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to do this in real life. KWR New York Liberty International Airport has a grand scenery by Steve Wallet available at Absin Library. There are also files for the airport, added as late as 2019 for correct parking codes and terminals. KRDG, Reading Regional Airport or Carlsbad Spain, is also where the Mid-Atlantic Air Museum is located. It also has great freeware scenery and is available for download at their website www.maam.org. Been wondering where the Natural World 2019 starts? Well, we've been in it for a while now. Here's a comparative view. Also added is the FS Genesis 38 Mesh by Just In Time. I'm not really sure if that is the real name. Judge for yourself, the environment add-on is to your liking. I'll be using it for the rest of FS 2004 simming. Let's pick things 
sun is getting low and so is our fuel. Up ahead is Three Mile Island, scene of a nuclear accident in 1979. Nearby is Harrisburg International Airport. As good a place as any to stop and rest. pepper hot soup or a dagwood sandwich or maybe all of them till the next bag Wanna continue the journey? Subscribe and hit the notification bell.